Hi, welcome to the fifth video of the Ready Scenario series. We've made this far. Well done. You're doing well. So um, for this particular video, we are going to be um, skipping some steps which I find very basic so that we can focus on what we are trying to build. So um, if you do not have the um, new library project set up, just run the following command to, to create a new library project. Um, CD to your library project run composer require library UI so that we can set up um, the Oscar food, run PHP as and UI bootstrap ports, run npm install and npm run dev. Then um, create um, a database, a new database, quality commerce or whatever you want. Then go ahead to your the env file and then um, edit, edit um, the database um, configuration so, so it will match also um add to your to your routes web.php copy this route and um, place place them there um also create go to, go to your resource folder create um, a product a product directory product folder create um create a new file create w.php this is where the form the form um, that we'll be using to create each product would be so um, we have a few fields we have products name products image and and um, the tags and um, lastly but not the least create a new file browse the bit of php in that same view folder this is um where all our views are being listed right and then um, all our products will be listed with the tags by the side and then um launch your your application on a browser so um, in this case, this is um, when I was playing around with this. So if so, um, if you have not, um, I'm logged in right now. So let me log out. So simply log in or bridge style a demo user. Then I'm going to log in. I already have a demo, a demo user registered. Right. Um, navigate to products slash um, creates with see form. Okay. Yeah. I was expecting this error. Um, so I needed to create um product controller. Okay. So experts. So I don't actually have product controller here, it's already here. So um, instead, what I need to do is um, add the create method. And that's from um, what I defined from the rows, that's what we defined. So we need to um, create, we need to add the create store and then view product methods to, um, to the product controller. So create, this is just going to return our view create so that's um true dot dot create right and then we have store and um costs Request all. <clears throat> so, um, and last but not least, view products. Right, so um, this is going to be turn view. So, um, this view is expecting some variable with it. Tags. Let us keep that empty array so it can work. And then products. Same thing, we'll give it an empty array so it will work. Now we refresh this page, it should work now. Great. So 
from product name let's create first product product name mention url gene tags i already have this pre-filled i already have this field before so it's easy for my browser to auto suggest so to make it easier for for you i i have this all out here products i have a table having all this the product name the url to the image and the tags to use so you don't have to bother I also always have there to copy and paste. So we click on create new products now. Um, what it was done, dump, what was returned. Right. So um, the first thing we are going to do right now is um, remember we we have this, we have this to follow, right? We have this uh, DB schema to follow. So first thing we need to do is sex product products ID. Right. So um, add here. So now to that, let's say um, let's let's define a method to get a product ID. Remember, it's on, on like uh, MySQL. There's auto increments when new order is added, but now we have to take care of all these things ourselves. But well, it's nothing hard. So let's define uh, so get product ID. Right. Product ID. So. Let's define this method. Static function. All right. So um, what we do is if this we are going to import the class to use. Let me type this on first. Product underscore id if it doesn't exist this key does not exist in database then do this release set product underscore id zero yeah that's the first one then return release Increments. Remember, we did this. Put dot underscore ID. Right. So um, let's import our class. So the class we need to import is um, eliminate support facade release. But we are using PHP Storm. You, you might check this class out. This release class here. Yeah. So this is where all the methods are being defined. Like you know. If you, are, if you need any method that is supposed to be here, this is the helper how to complete PHP, PHP release. This is the PHP release extension interface, right? So, um, these are all the methods that have been defined. You see, S can, like, so you can just control find to see, you can read, read around to know what is happening, but that, that's not the class we need. Class we need is actually um, to eliminate support for service. So, for the, uh, the fact that um, my recording software is, has almost reached its limits. I'm going to edit this video here and then we'll continue in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.